Hello everyone. My name is Regina in the Azure Virtual One team. And today I'll be showing how to create a site to site connection between an on premise branch and Azure Virtual One using PowerShell. We will start by utilizing PowerShell from Azure Cloud Shell in the portal. Next is to set a subscription to ensure we are creating our resources in the right subscription. Once that is done, the first thing will be to create the virtual one in either a new resource group or in an already existing resource group. For this demo, I would like to create the resource in a new resource group. So I'll run the script to create that. Once that is created, next we'll create the virtual one by specifying the name, the resource group, and the location. And I will set the variable for that. So here we have a new Azure virtual one with the resource group name we just created, test RG, and the location. You can add a parameter to specify the virtual one type, basic or standard. But if you don't specify the V1 type, it will create the standard V1. Next, we create the virtual hub. Here we specified the name of the hub as West US or hub. And we also specified the resource group name, the location, and the IP address prefix. Please note that the IP address range that you want to use for your virtual hub private address space should not overlap with the on-premises address range that you intend to connect to. You can also set other parameters such as the route table and preferred routing gateway while creating the virtual hub. Creating a hub takes about five to seven minutes. So let's give it some time to complete. Great, we can see that creating the hub has been completed. Now let us verify that these resources have been created successfully. So we navigate to the virtual ones. And we created the virtual one named as my virtual one. So here we can verify it's been created in the resource group test RG. And the name is my virtual one. And we also see that the hub has been created, which is the West US hub. Next is to create the gateway. We are given a new a test resource group name as test RG. And the name of the VPN gateway as test VPN gateway. We're also referencing the virtual hub and setting the scaleway unit to two. We'll run this. You can also set other parameters such as enable routing preference internet flag or set up your VPN gateway NAT rule, among others. Creating the gateway will take about 30 minutes or more, depending on the scale you need to specify. Now we will give this operation some time to get completed. Because of the time taken to create the VPN gateway, your session would likely time out after 20 minutes of inactivity. You can just click on reconnect here to get reconnected. But to continue with the process, you would need to ensure you are connected to the right subscription again, and also set the variables for the resources you are working on. But first, let us verify that the VPN gateway has been created. We do see here that the VPN site to site gateway has the status as succeeded. Awesome. 
Now let's set the right subscription. And also set the variables for the correct resources. Great. Next, we want to create a site in the V1 to correspond to the on-prem physical location. For this demo, we will not be enabling BGP, so we have to specify the private address spaces for the VPN sites. Here I'm setting the variables for the address spaces. Next, we create the VPN site links to add information about the physical links at the branch. Four links per site can be created, but for this demo, we'll be creating two links. Here I'm also setting the variables for those two links. Then we create the VPN sites and reference the VPN site links we just created. You see here we have specified the resource group to be test RG and given a name to be test VPN sites with the location in West US. We reference the virtual one and the address space we created. And we also set the device properties, the device model, the vendor, and reference the VPN site links. We'll give a few minutes for the VPN sites to be created, and then we can verify that it's been created. The operation for the VPN site is now complete. Let us verify that the sites have been created. So we navigate back to the virtual one and go to VPN sites. And now we see that the test VPN site has been created with the two links as we specified. Great. Next, we create the VPN site link connections for both of the VPN site links. Finally, we proceed to create the VPN site to site connection. Here we specified the resource group and also reference the VPN gateway. We give a name to the connection as test connection and also reference the VPN site link connections. You can also set other variables like the pre-shared key, the protocol, or you can also enable or disable propagate default route. To confirm that the connection is successful, you can navigate to check on the status of the connection. So we go to the hubs and click on the hub we want to check into and navigate to the VPN site to site. And here we see the provisioning status as succeeded. And once this is complete, we'll see this as connected as well. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.